Hello folks, my name is Ed. This is a complete Emu Deck original Xbox emulator setup guide. I consider this will be the only guide that you need to play original Xbox games on your Steam Deck. The Xbox game performs really well on the deck. Most of the games can be played at 30 to 60 FPS with 2 times native resolution. It is a really great experience when we can carry some classic Xbox games on the go. This is a very comprehensive video, so I have made it into several chapters as shown on the screen. You can easily skip to any chapters that you are interested in. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you think what I shared is helpful. Now let's start the show. The Emu Deck installation is pretty easy. I will quickly explain the installation process here. I will only cover Xbox emulator installation in this video. First, we need to switch to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. From desktop mode, use your Firefox internet browser and go to Emu Deck official website. I have the Emu Deck linked in my video description. From this website, we can directly download the Emu Deck installation file. Once it is downloaded, we can click Show in Folder. We need to copy the Emu Deck installation file onto our desktop in order to process this installation. And this is mandatory. Then we can double click on the Emu Deck installer from the desktop. Click Continue on this pop up window to confirm this installation. Let's select the custom mode here, which will give us more options to set up the Emu Deck. Then click Continue. I highly recommend to use SD card for your emulation games. Even with E1 type SD card, it works perfect with emu decks. So we will pick SD card as storage here. On this page, obviously we need to select Steam Deck. On this screen, it shows all emulators that are currently supported by emu deck. I will disable all the emulators except for the Xbox emulator which is called Zemu. Also, I would like to point out that if you already have emulators installed on your Steam Deck, you should disable those emulators on this page. Otherwise, this installation will overwrite your existing emulators. You can always come back to this page and install any emulators that you like later on. Then click Continue. On this page, make sure you turn off the emulators that you have already installed on your Steam Deck. If you forgot doing this, the Emu Deck will overwrite your existing emulator settings. So please keep this in mind. I will only leave Xbox emulator on. Then we can click on continue and move to the next page. On the next couple pages, you can pick any options you like. It's all about your personal tastes for the emulation game. Then just click next. This is the new page that Emu Deck just added. And I think this is really helpful. This page will basically tell us what will be installed and what will be configured on our Steam Deck by this installation. So please make sure you check everything here before you click on the finish button. It is very critical to check here to make sure any of your existing emulators are excluded under the first two columns. If you forget to exclude them, this installation will overwrite your existing emulator's setting and configurations. After you make sure everything is correct on this page, then just click the finish button to process the installation. The Emu Deck now start processing all the installation. It will take about 2 minutes to complete everything here. After everything's done, we can click exit. Now we have complete the Emu Deck installation on the Steam Deck. The original Emu Deck installer is now changed to Emu Deck access icon on the desktop. That's all for the Emu Deck installation. For the Xbox Emulator BIOS, we are required to add two files to the Emulation BIOS folder. The first file is BIOS. I have two BIOS files here right now. The Emulator will automatically pick the latest version. So if you only have one file, that should be ok too. The second file is a boot ROM image. This is a single file too. Sorry folks, I'm not able to share this file here due to the copyright issue. So please find your own. But I will share the file name and file extension here. So make sure you have the correct files. 
once you have the correct files, we can simply copy them into the emulation by OS folder. Just double check and make sure you copied them into the correct folder as shown on the screen. If after adding the BIOS files, the emulator doesn't recognize them, to fix this, run the Xbox emulator from desktop mode, and go to machine, then system, and point the application directly to your BIOS file. You only need to do this if the BIOS files cannot be detected by the emulator. This is all we need to do to set up the BIOS file. In this section, we need to prepare the game files. The Xbox ISO game needs to be formatted to XISO in order to run in Zemu emulator. The XISO will still remain the ISO extension. It's just a formatting process for the ISO file. This process can be performed on a Windows PC a Mac or a Linux system, but this process is not stable on Steam Deck right now. I will show how to do this on a Windows PC at a Mac. First, I will show how to format the ISO to XISO on a Windows PC. Here is my Windows PC screen. First, use any of your internet browser and go to the GitHub website. I already have it linked under this video description. The software we need to use is called Extract XISO. So on this page, click here to download the release version. Then we should see the zip file under the download folder. We need to extract this file. So just click Extract All. Then we should get this new extracted folder here. And we can delete the original zip file. Also, it is better to rename the extracted folder to a simple name. So it will be easier for us to do the following step. I will just rename this folder as Extract XISO and keep it simple. The next thing we need to do is copy the Xbox ISO game into this extracted folder. I have this Halo game here. So I will copy this ISO game into this extracted XISO software folder. Then we need to rename the game ISO name as simple as possible and make sure there is no space in the name. So here I will just rename this game as Halo ISO. The last step is very important. What we need to do is open the Windows command prompt. If you have any problems locating the command prompt, you can simply search for it in the Windows search bar. Once the command prompt is opened, first type in dir and press the enter key. This will show all the folders under the computer username. Second, type cd space downloads. Then hit the enter key. This will direct us to the download folder. Next, type dir again and press the enter key. Now we will see all the files inside the download folder. Then type cd space extract dash xiso and hit the enter key. Now we are under the extract xiso folder. Finally, we need to type extract dash xiso space dash r space. Then type in the game name with ISO extension. So here I will type in Halo ISO. And hit the enter key to start the formatting process. This will take about 20 seconds. If everything is okay, it should see the game ISO successfully rewritten. Now we can close this window. If we go back to the extract XISO folder, we will see the Halo ISO file. This is our final formatted ROM, and there is another file named Halo ISO Old, which is the original ISO file. If we compare the size of those two files, 
you will see the newly formatted ISO will only have half size of the original ISO. So this formatting process will actually decrease the game size. This is pretty awesome. We can now delete the old ISO file. Next, I will plug my Steam Deck into my laptop and transfer this formatted Halo ISO into the Emulation ROM folder. If you want to access your Steam Deck internal SSD and SD card from a Windows PC, please check out this video on the screen. I consider this to be the best method to access your Steam Deck SSD and SD card from a Windows PC. But you can also copy the game into a flash drive from your PC and then plug the flash drive into your Steam Deck and do the file transfer. Ok, let's back to my Windows PC screen. We can see in the right bottom corner, it shows the Steam Deck is not connected to my PC. I will open a new window of my PC and we can see the Steam Deck is here. I will copy the Xbox game into my SD card so I need to go to the SD card, Emulation, ROMs, Xbox. Then on the left side of the screen, I will pick the file and select Copy. Then move to the right side of the screen on my Steam Deck and select Paste. The formatted ISO game is now sending into the Steam Deck's SD card. Once this process is done, we can unplug the Steam Deck from the PC. At this point, we already have a valid Xbox game on the Steam Deck's SD card. You can now move to the Chapter 4 for the rest of the process. In this section, I will show how to convert an Xbox ISO game to XISO on a Mac computer. Here is my MacBook screen. First, make sure you have an Xbox ISO game on your Mac. I have this game called Conquer on my Mac as an example in this video. Next, we need to go to this GitHub website to download the software called Extract XISO. I already have this download link under this video description. We can download this released version from here. So just double click and download this file. My unzip software will automatically extract this file for me. So you have to manually unzip this file. I will delete the original zip file. Then we need to rename the Xbox ISO game. Try to keep the name as easy as possible. And make sure there is no space in the name. I will rename this game as Conquer ISO. Next, we need to copy this ISO game into the Extract XISO software folder. Also, rename the software folder and make it simple. I will rename it as Extract-XISO. So by now, we should have the Extract-XISO software and ISO game in the same folder. Next step, we need to download a software called Vineskin. This software will allow us to run Windows commands on Mac OS. This download link is available from the video description too. So click here and download the software. Once we have it downloaded, it should have TXZ extension. And just double click on this file. It will generate another file. Then if we click the generated file, you will most likely get this pop-up message. Click cancel on this message. Now we need to head to the Launchpad, then System Preference. From here, select Security and Privacy. Then click the lock icon on the bottom left corner and type in your Mac password. Then click Open Anyway. This will allow Mac OS to take any third-party software. Click Open on this pop-up message. We can click the lock again and close this window. The white skin software should now boot up. First, click the plus icon. Second, select the latest engine from the drop down menu. Third, click download and install button to install the engine. I already have the latest engine installed on my Mac. 
so I am not able to show the installation process here. At the moment I am recording this video, this is the latest engine available. After you have the latest engine installed, now click create new blank wrapper, pick a name here. I will call it Xbox ROM. You can name anything you like here. Then click OK. This will take about 3 to 5 minutes to create the app, so be patient here. Once you have this pop-up window and it says wrapper creation finished, then you can click OK. We can close one skin installation too. Next, click the launch pad. We will see the wine skin Xbox ROM app show up here. We can double click and run this software from here. If you have issue to boot up this software, try to reboot your Mac and it should fix it. On this interface, click advanced, then select tools and click command line. Then wait for about 30 seconds. This new command window will pop up. I will just quickly reposition this window so we can see it more clear. Next, we need to go back to the Extract XISO software folder. Make sure to go to the View menu on the top of the screen and turn on Show Pass bar. So we can see the folder pass at the bottom of the screen. Make sure you do not have any file selected. Then right click with your mouse on the folder pass area. Click copy extract XISO as pass name. Then we can close this window and go back to the command window. First type in CD space. Then right click on your mouse and select edit. Then paste. Now you should see the pass name we previously copied is now pasted here. Then hit the enter key on your keyboard. Next type in extract dash XISO space dash r space game name with iso extension then hit the enter key on your keyboard again the formatting process will now begin it will take about 30 seconds if everything is correct it will see the game iso successfully rewritten now if we go back to the extract xiso software folder we will see a new file named conquer ISO old. This is the original ISO file. Our final formatted ISO still remain the same name and the same extension. If we compare the original ISO with the formatted ISO, the game size is dramatically reduced after this formatting process. Now we can delete the original ISO and transfer the formatted ISO into the emulator ROM folder. That's all for how to convert the ISO to XISO on a Mac computer. I am assuming that you have copied the formatted ISO game from Chapter 3 into the Emulation ROMs Xbox folder on your Steam Deck. So here I have the Halo game from my Windows laptop and Conquer game from the Mac OS in Chapter 3. Once you have the formatted ISO games in the correct folder, then we can launch the email deck. Then click to and stuff. From here, we need to select Steam Room Manager. Click yes for this pop-up window. First, disable the parsers, otherwise the email deck will scan all the game rooms. I recommend only enable the emulators that you are going to use and disable the rest of them. I will only enable Microsoft Xbox Simu emulator here. Then we can click save button on the bottom left side. Then we need to click on the preview button from the top left corner. Then click generate app list from the bottom of the screen. Now we can see the two Xbox games that we copied are show up here. Also we can change the game album picture from here. But for now we can just click save app list button. This will create the game title on our Steam OS interface. Now we can just close Emu Deck and return to the Steam Deck gaming mode. After we get into the Steam Deck gaming mode, just go to the library. We will see there are two new tabs show up. One is called Collection, 
Under this tab, it will classify emulation games by the emulation system. The other tab is called No Steam Game. Under this tab, you will see all the emulation games that have been installed on the Steam Deck. Now I can launch this Halo game from here directly. And yes, this game works perfectly fine on the deck. And we have constant 60 FPS with 2 times native resolution. This is all for how to add Xbox games into the Steam OS gaming mode. In order to access the hotkeys on Xbox emulator, we need to launch a game first, then press the select and start buttons together. This will bring up the quick menu. From the quick menu, go to settings, then display mode. From here, we can change all different screen ratios. I personally like 4x3 ratio, unless the game has a native 16x9 screen ratio support. From the quick menu, go to settings, then all settings. Under display tab, the internal resolution scale can be set at two times for some games. This will improve the game's image dramatically. So try to run the game at two times at first. If it's slow, then switch back to one times. On the Steam Deck, some Xbox game graphics were not rendered properly. Apply Zinc can fix graphical issues, but Zinc can also cause performance drops in certain games. So apply Zinc to certain game only. To apply Zinc, first we need to switch to desktop mode. Then open Steam. Select an Xbox shortcut in Steam. Click the gear icon. Then click properties. Then in the launch option box, Enter this code as shown on the screen. I already have this code attached under the pinned comment, so please copy from there. <laughs> 